Welcome to the Operator Assisted Camera Calibration Procedure. Recommended digital camera settings for the eyewitness camera calibration. If the camera has auto rotate, you must make sure that it is off. If the camera uses a zoom lens, set it at the widest field of view. Never refocus or zoom when taking the pictures. Focus the lens at infinity and leave it there. We recommend shooting in program mode or aperture priority f5.6 with the flash on during the camera calibration. Typically eyewitness project imaging can then be program mode but always shoot in manual focus focused at infinity. The ISO of 200 to 400 is acceptable. Always shoot in the highest JPEG resolution. White balance and auto is fine. Acquiring the calibration images. Print the six calibration target sheets. Lay the sheets out similar to the below image. Note how one target sheet is elevated about four inches off the floor. Take pictures from the four corners of the layout. Take pictures in landscape and portrait from about the same four locations. Just manually rotate the camera about 90 degrees and take the required eight total shots. You're now ready to import the images into eyewitness and begin the calibration. To begin the calibration, click on the eyewitness shortcut and select File and Import Images. In the Image Browser, path to your working folder with the calibrated images and select the double arrow and click OK. If you put the cursor over the camera icon, you'll notice it says Default. We're going to change the default camera to a new name so that every time you start a new project, you'll be given the opportunity to select the unique ID that was assigned for your calibrated camera. Double click on the camera icon and select the Add Unique ID. Type in a name for your camera. It might be the name of your camera and last four digits of your camera serial number. We're going to type in E420 serial number 1234. And click OK. And click OK again. To start the referencing of images, it is important to select the initial two images that have good angle separation. I'll double click on select image 1 and image 4. Notice how the images are appeared to be rotated. You can optionally right click on the image and select rotate so that the images are easy to reference mark. Click the green R button. Place a cursor over the black dot and depress and hold the C key. You might have to use the scroll mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out to get the full black dot inside the square window. It is important the full circle is present in the window and the pixels are yellow. You can click anywhere in the yellow highlighted circle and eyewitness will automatically center the marking by clicking the left mouse button. After marking 7 to 10 reference points, the points become green. The images are now oriented and the points are 3D. A blue line will now appear 
projecting into the corresponding image. Complete the marking of all black dots with the C key. With all points marked green, close one of the images and open the next image, in this case image number two. Continue the referencing process. Click the green R. All you have to do is click on the green label. After five or six of the reference points, you will notice a blue point tag. You can depress the two key on the keyboard and eyewitness will drive to the point to be referenced once again by depressing the C key. So it's two and C, two and C. I'm hitting the C key right now, hit the 2 key, and just toggle back and forth between 2 key and C key. With all points marked, you can click out of the open image and select the next one and repeat the same process. With all eight images referenced, click the camera icon and click Details and Run Calibration Bundle. Clicking Yes will update the Eyewitness Local Camera Database. Click the Save icon. The next time you start a project, you'll be given the choice of the default camera, or in this case, the E420SN1234.